Hi, welcome back to my channel, The Gentle Flamingo. This is part six of my Nerdy Gertie build, and we are just about to the end, I think. Uh, just a couple more videos, and I should have it finished up. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, in this video, I'm going to get the bridges put on, as well as the key box. I'm also going to show you a brief setup of the drone and trumpet bridges. I didn't film the bit where I paint the Gertie, but I do want to point out right quick that I outlined where the key box and various bridges will be glued down. I made sure to paint outside these lines, for the most part, to make sure that the glue had a good surface to grab onto while it dried. Before I start gluing on the most obvious parts, I'm going to get these little triangle pieces on first. They're going to go just behind these wing looking parts on either side of the tuning head to give those wings a little bit more stability. I don't know if this little notch is here by design or just an artifact of the design process, but it does make a very wonderful place for clamping these little triangles into place. I'm back with my rubber bands, but use whatever method strikes your fancy. One side done, and other side done. Next, I'll put the main bridge on. It goes in the middle. Its three hooks go into the three slots near the crank handle, and it makes quite a satisfying sound when you push it forward into place. This bridge doesn't really require gluing since those hooks and the pressure from the two melody strings will hold it into place, but I don't quite trust it to stay there, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down and clamp it into place. Before I set this aside to dry, I'm also going to put on the key box. The larger end will go towards the wheel, and these two tabs will fit into these two holes. The two tabs in the middle will go into these holes, and the two tabs at the other end will fit into the two slots up near the tuning head. I'll apply glue where the box will touch the top of the girdie, and then press it into place. If you look at the end of the key box by the tuning head, you'll see that it actually goes on the outside of these little triangle parts. To clamp the key box on, I have one clamp at the end near the wheel, one on the other end, and one in the middle. I suppose you could put the lid on and clamp it down that way, but I didn't think of that when I did this, so I used two spare pieces of pine across the top of the box. It seems to have worked just fine. While all of that dries, I want to show you how to set up the drone and trumpet bridges. It's kind of part of the final setup, but it's easier to show it to you before the bridges are glued on. This is where you'll need those six 10mm M3 bolts. Two for the original drone bridge, two for the trumpet bridge, and two for the melody bridge. If you plan to use the alternate drone bridge design, then you'll only need four of those 10mm bolts, since you'll use the 20mm M3 bolts for the alternate drone bridge. If you're going to use the original drone bridge, you'll need the bridge and these two pieces. The smaller piece goes into the top slot and the larger piece goes in the bottom slot. Then the bolts go through the small holes in those pieces. I went ahead and threaded the bolts through the pieces once before I put them into the bridge so setup would be just a little bit easier. Now, when you're setting up your gertie, you can loosen the bolt and adjust the bridge to dial in the string pressure on your wheel. The trumpet bridge has two printed plastic inserts. The one that looks like it's wearing a flat, rectangular hat goes in the top space
and the one that vaguely reminds me of the ship Serenity from Firefly goes in the bottom with its wings fitting into the edge slots. These two printed pieces also have holes for the 10mm N3 bolts for future adjustment. Just like the drone bridge, it's a good idea to go ahead and thread your bolts through at least once before completely assembling the bridge. The last two 10mm M3 bolts will go into the Melody Bridge here, where the M3 nuts were fitted earlier. I'll go into more detail about this bridge in the next video. To set up the alternate drone bridge, you'll need the two 20mm M3 bolts. First, I'll go ahead and thread on the printed collars that will support the drone strings. And then thread the bolts into the bridge. One through the top two holes. and one through the bottom two holes. Since I'll be applying a finish after gluing the bridges into place, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all bolts and other pieces from all the bridges, so you won't see them again until the setup video. Looking at the girdie from the crank end, the drone bridge will go to the right of the melody bridge with its tab fitting into the squarish hole there and the slots opening away from the melody bridge. I'm using the alternate drone bridge and it goes on the same way with the side with the notches in it facing away from the melody bridge. The trumpet bridge will go to the left of the melody bridge with its tab fitting into the hole on that side and its middle shelf facing away from the melody bridge like so. Once they're in place, I'm going to try my best to make sure that they are in line with this part of the melody bridge. Now I'll glue them into place. I apply the glue with the bottle and my finger, but this would probably be a good place to brush the glue on for neater results. Just make sure to get glue on all the areas that will contact the top of the girdie, including the sides of that little tab. And press it into place. And clamp it down to dry. Now the same thing for the trumpet bridge. Set it aside to dry overnight. And now here we are, all painted up and ready for a finish. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you for the next video. Bye. I don't know why clapping makes me laugh, but it always does. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel, The Gentle Flamingo. I think my nose is running. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>